Hey guys, Derpy here! And for the foreseeable future until Cat gets more merch! But we have some great merch today, guys! We have some brand new posters of Karina and my series! I might be a little biased, but I do like my poster! You guys don't even need to get them as posters! We have notebook versions so that you guys may write down your dirty little secrets into it! We will judge you. Anyway, enjoy the video, guys! The content within this video is not suitable for children. Viewer discretion is advised. You know, this isn't the worst accommodations I could have ever had in my entire life. I keep thinking about my shitty first apartment with the, uh, the university, college, the slaughtered pigs. It smelled like awful shit. Here it's sheep shit. It could be worse. I at least have a mattress that is decently comfortable and a light. The kids were nice enough to give me a lantern. How sweet of them. Well, I don't know if they're gonna talk to me tonight. Did plant the seeds. But I could go sleep. Wouldn't mind getting all snug, though I would like a- ah! uh, uh, yes? No. You talk to yourself quite a bit. I mean, yeah. For a while I was locked in my room when I first got here, so... <laughs> All right with me, lass. Can I help? Kid got you a lantern, eh? Yeah, I, um, little spooked in the dark sometimes, especially in unfamiliar places. Well, I suppose you've not been eating it, anyways. Take it with you. With me? Oh, yes. Come on, we have a bit to discuss in private. Uh, okay. I mean. Somebody finally offered it to take you. Cool. Oh, that means, um, nice. Alright. I don't know if you know my <laughs> lingo. My dialect. I understand that, at the very least. <laughs> okay. Bit more private. Quiet hours about now. Oh, I see. I'm off it. Here. Okay. Maybe you're a bit of a trinket at that lamp. Thank you, I guess. I'll be coming by morning. Maybe. Yeah. It depends. On what? On you, lass. I think I could be useful around here. Do you? Do you? I'll tell you right now, you don't like you shovel shit for a living. Maybe not. I doubt you all those little frail hands there can lift up a hammer at the smithing table we have. <laughs> Probably not. So, I guess the real question is, what could you offer my little place here? If I say what I'm about to say, I hope it doesn't offend you at the very least. Guess we'll find out. I'm smart. <laughs> oh, my mother did call me a dumb sack of shit. Go on, explain yourself now. <laughs> I'm not trying to call you dumb or anything, or anybody here anything negative. In fact, you've all given me no reason to think anything like that. You seem like a very intelligent man, Erlen. Can be at times. Which is why you're trying to think of the best case scenario to use me. I mean, I am the world-renowned Lady Kestrin, smartest vampire, etc, etc. Mm -hmm. Except I'm not a vampire. And I'll be honest with you, Erlen, I have no desire to be a vampire. Uh, I could have smelt the vampire on you if you were. I know you're not a vampire. You don't want to be one now? Lady Kestrin was, uh, someone to be feared or trifled with way back when, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I've had to, uh, listen to the stories of 
the past, things I don't remember, things <laughs> since I'm supposed to be reborn as her. <laughs> Apparently the spell went wrong. <laughs> Regardless, I don't need to be the exact same as before. I'm smart. And I want to help you. Help us. You've yet to list a reason how you could help us. Because you're smart. And I like you, Erland. <laughs> you certainly do know how to grease up somebody, don't you? <laughs> I'm not just trying to bust your balls here, Erland. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time in a while, I can speak freely without having to worry about my appearance. How people are gonna think. You guys don't seem to give enough of a fuck about appearances and cordially and speaking fancy and shit. The only thing we give a damn about is if you'll help with us. We're a family here. Not really a family. But we found one another. Help each other. We are Puck. And I respect that. And I want to help too. I'm sure I can find a way. I'll call them off. Hmm? Well, they'll trade. I was kind of bullshit in any ways. I haven't told anyone about you yet. I see. <laughs> Doesn't mean I wasn't looking for someone, though. You would be a dumb man to not. You had no uh, idea I if I was fucking useful. my own position first. Yeah, exactly. And you don't know if I'm useful or not. Or a raging bitch. <laughs> Maybe uh, I am well, a bitch. Well, the raging part I can tell already. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That's how this is gonna work. You'll have a week. Prove yourself loyal to my pack and useful to it at that. And if you can't at that point, well... Maybe I actually will find someone that can take you. I understand, Erland. It's a reasonable deadline for me. Good. I think I already told you. Try running away, I'll know about it. Erland, Come I, fetch you. I wouldn't Same dream deal. of it. I understand why you're telling me this, but I wouldn't dream of it. I'm not a coward. <laughs> I wasn't telling you that for a reason. Telling you. I'm moving you somewhere else like that shack. Oh, really? She apparently loves to get an Nazi. They want to start using it again. I imagine so. Looks like there was a lot of supplies I needed in there. <laughs> oh, there's plenty of buckets to use with all these shovel of shit. Above, you'll find your new quarters. Oh. Okay, thank you. Consider this your little room. Though, uh, granted, might come in every now and then if I want to rot something. I won't get in your way. <laughs> Have a good day to you, Lady Count. Or Kestrin, whatever the hell you want to be called. And to you as well, Erland. But before you go, I have a question, if you don't mind me asking. By all means. I've been here for a while. A few days, right? Yeah. Has there been any strange spottings? If they're close enough, we'll sniff them out. Find them eventually after that. Good, because I don't want any trouble to come here. Shall be handled. <laughs> Take care of it. Now, why don't you get yourself some beauty rest, eh? You're gonna need to hold on to that lantern. You wouldn't mind holding it for me? <laughs> While I climb up at the very least. Alright, uh, come on. Here you go. <laughs> Can't really climb and hold things <laughs> at the same time. There you go. Thanks. Appreciated. You get yourself some rest. I need to handle some things on here. Alright, I won't disturb you. 
a day to you. Oh, good night. Good night, Erland. Actually, got me curious of one thing. Yeah? He said we existed in your world as myth, yeah? Yes. What did I tell you about the werewolves? Werewolves, to us, you know, myths, um, they've been romanticized throughout the years. Recently, they're more of a, like, romantic thing. Ooh, it's really sexy if my partner is a werewolf kind of books. <laughs> I want to deny myself. I've got a bit more stamina than most. <laughs> is it true that you guys can't be killed unless it's with a silver bullet? Silver bullets or swords. Mm, so that must be the same thing for my world, too. Did they go along with the myth that we're just ravenous animals? Yeah. <laughs> Partly true, I suppose. But another thing that sticks with it is uh, werewolves are very... pack. You know, that they put a big emphasis on family, which I see is the same here. <laughs> <laughs> Partially true as well. Yeah. Some of the werewolves out there, they're wild, feral almost. Not many of these packs around, but there are others out there, as dangerous and as stupid as those crazy ones you call them. I didn't know that. That's interesting. So I'll let you know now, if you run out of here, and you, Vi, we, don't get you. The other ones might. Thanks for the warning. Best not to see a pretty face torn to shred. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty bad for everyone involved. I'd say. Now, good night, lady. Good night, Erland. Alright. Get me in good. I don't want to make it seem like I'm fawning over the sky yet or anything. I need to get him to understand. He isn't dumb, but he is kind of oblivious to what I'm basically saying. Anastasia's definitely making this a disposal thing. They were supposed to kill me and then get tracked down before they could even be we figured out who sent them here, or sent them to me. Isvad, or whoever works with Isvad, would come and kill him, and everybody here. And as much as I'm, you know, not a... I don't want Isvad to kill these people. They don't know what they're getting into. But it's only a matter of time. There's gonna be somebody sent here soon, I know it. I could just wait a week, at the very least. Gotta make myself useful. Then Isfad and his men will come. I can negotiate a deal. Negotiate peace. Though that Erland guy is pretty nice. And it is actually really nice to be here. Aside from the whole... downgrade in living quality, but you know, hey, it's still nice. I get my own bed. Three beds to pick from. How nice. How swanky. <sighs> I just gotta bide my time, play the game. Ugh. Oh, I'm gonna hit the sack. I'm exhausted. Alright. Hmm.